This might seem like a silly video, but it's why you should buy your shoes from eBay. That's right. Um, if you've spent any time on YouTube, you know that like every single group that's out there in America has their own little corner of YouTube. Um, I didn't even realize it until a couple of years ago when I was started researching something that there is this whole backpacking hiking world out there on YouTube. Um, just recently I was looking for some information on tomatoes and realized there is this whole gardening world out there on YouTube. And when I ended up hitting that hiking and backpacking world on YouTube, I realized that a lot of people were recommending to do something that I already had been doing for a while, and that was ditching your hiking boots. Um, and this is not a video on ditching your hiking boots, but this is a video for people who are considering ditching their hiking boots and don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on sneakers to test out whether sneakers would be a good alternative for it. So one of the things that I do is I wear ultra sneakers. So those are ultra sneakers. And uh, I can do a whole video on why ultra sneakers are awesome. Um, but if you have, actually I think I did a video on ultra sneakers. Um, if you have really big feet, I have, these are size 15. I have feet that I've never been able to go to. I can't go to a local store in Connecticut and pick up shoes for my feet. They're just, they're too big. Um, and I can order ultras and they do fit. And so if you've watched any amount of hiking and backpacking videos on YouTube, you'll see a lot of people that are recommending ultras, specifically this model, which is the Lone Peak. Uh, another model that some people recommend are the Superiors, which is this one here. And you can see the, the kind of the big difference is the amount of uh, cushioning underneath it. So all any of these ultra sneakers can easily go for a hundred bucks or more new which is a lot of money, and if I was gonna buy them new, that would allow me to get maybe one pair. Um, again, I, I, some people would consider $100 for a pair of shoes, nothing at all, and you might have lots of shoes. Uh, but for me, that would definitely hinder me from trying new sneakers or uh, kind of experimenting with different models. So what I kind of bumped into is eBay. Um, I literally have an alert set on eBay, you can do it through eBay, that says ultra size 15. So anytime a new pair of ultra sneakers show up on eBay, I get an email about it. And just to give you some random sort of shoes, these are actually the shoes I wear to work. Um, so they're not exactly hiking shoes, but uh, I don't know if you can see, there was a little rip there. And so I actually bought these for $20. They're they look brand new. I mean, when I got them, there is no wear on the sole whatsoever. And a little bit of crazy glue has sealed that up. I think these are moving on almost, I think this will be the third year that I own them. Um, and again, I really only wear them to work. It's, you know, black sneakers, so it kind of, uh, you know, it's not really noticeable. Um, but for 20 bucks, uh, you can't beat it. Um, this is another pair that I love wearing hiking. I, I love this shoe for hiking. It's called the King Mountain Edition. It's really marketed, Ultra markets this towards, um, ah, what do you call those CrossFit races? Like those Ragnar runs? I don't know, whatever those CrossFit, ah, those mud, mud run things, you know, where you gotta pick up stuff and go through all that mud. This is really marketed towards uh, that sort of person, but I love wearing it for hiking. Um, there's not a lot of cushion, which I actually like. You can really feel the trail under your feet. Um, it's very easy to go over rocks. It's got some, <laughs> some little mud there. It's got some serious grip at the bottom. Um, it also has this strap, which is used in those mud races to make sure your shoe doesn't pop off. Um, but I bought these for like $45 or something off of eBay. There was no way you could tell that anybody had ever worn them and brand new, they're well over $100. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for these shoes, the Long Peaks, but I think there was something around you know, $50. And again, these are over $100 shoes when they came out. Um, and these are awesome. And this is, uh, what else? I just bought this. This will be my next set of shoes for work for $20. Uh, and again, I realize these are not for hiking, but just kind of showing you that you can get some good deals off of eBay. And you know, even if you wear this hiking and it doesn't end up being your thing, you're only out 20 bucks or something like that. Um, also, what I find is that when I get them through eBay, I don't feel bad when stuff like 
this happens. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I live on the beast coast of the United States, so our trails are incredibly rocky. Um, most of the miles on these sneakers have been used for trail running, uh, so you can see that both sides are blown out. But since I didn't pay full price for these, I don't feel that bad when it happens. Um, I think the worst thing would be is if I had paid a hundred and something dollars for these and all of a sudden I come back with a rip, I know it's only gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and uh, I, I would feel kind of awful about having spent all that money. But when you look at all the sneakers here, they probably all added up to like, maybe like, a, I don't know, one brand new pair of Ultras. Um, so I think that's it. So if you are considering going from boots to sneakers, uh, take a look at eBay. Uh, take a look at some of the sneakers on there. You'd be absolutely shocked what you can get. Um, the ones that are like brand new go for such a good price. And even the ones that have a little bit of uh, abuse on them, it's still a good price. What I would recommend doing, if I can show an example, these have been worn a little bit. Let's see if I can see this in the camera. When you open it up on eBay, you always wanna look at the sole. And if you zoom in on the sole, you can kind of see the pattern, maybe right about, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can kind of tell how worn it is by if you can still see the pattern. And so when you can't see that pattern, you know it's been worn. When you can totally see all of the details, uh, it's hard to tell in here. When you can see the details of the pattern at the bottom, you know it hasn't. Um, and so that's one of the things that I definitely look for. The other thing that I look for on eBay is a picture from all sides of the shoe. You know, someone who's not trying to hide something takes pictures, they'll literally, you'll see, it'll be from the front, it'll be from each side. So this is the right shoe. You will see both sides of the right shoe. You will see the entire sole of the right shoe. They will show you the inside label that says the size. Um, and so make sure if, if somebody is not showing you one of the sides, you might wanna ask before buying them. So there you go. Kind of in the, I don't know if it's a silly video or not, um, but just something to consider that, you know, if you're not an eBay buyer, if getting used things, if you're not someone who goes to a thrift store or something like that, it might kind of set you off. But uh, I think it's a good place to go and get your first pair of sneakers, go out and experiment and give it a shot. And again, I think because they're used, you don't feel bad about when they end up getting, you know, scuffed or scratched or uh, holes. I think also when you get them used is you don't worry about getting them dirty. Um, I think too often before I started doing the eBay thing, if I got a new pair of sneakers, I didn't go and get them dirty. Um, I didn't go and take them out on the trails. Uh, I might just wear them to work. And then by the time they were ready to hit the trails, the sole was worn out, everything was blown out. But when you get them and they're already used, you don't feel bad about going through the mud and the, the grit and everything else. There's a, a cross country coach, college cross country coach, I can't remember who it was, but on the first day of practice, you know, everyone shows up with their new sneakers. The first thing that he had everybody do on the team was run right through this muddy path. And everybody came back with their sneakers trashed. And this way here, everybody was more comfortable with, you know, going down the trail, staying in the middle, had no issues with going out in the rain and mud and all that sort of thing. So that's a little bit about what, a, a little bit how eBay would kind of help you out. Um, all right, I think that's it. Uh, if you're shopping on eBay, good luck.